hey, um, did you know it's pretty much impossible to keep either your kid or anyone else's kid in a sex and violence free world? 90% of movies, 68% of video games, and 60% of TV shows show at least some depiction of sex or violence. Kids about 8 years old and under watch an average of 1 hour and 40 minutes of TV or DVDs a day. And that's a lot just for a kid. That's a lot. And as older kids from 14, 15, and 16 watch an average of 4 hours daily. That's, that's a lot. And kids are greatly affected from today's media. From violence to sex. And also how, how can these things affect kids in the long run. About 60% of kids are affected by violence just about every day. From TV to computer to mobile phone, internet, just about anything that includes the media. This could eventually make a kid more violent and make the kid more aggressive and get into more arguments and fights than the average kid. Also, Becoming more aggressive tends to lead to an outlet for all this for all that anger Which eventually leads the kids to you know drugs alcohol or any other illegal substances um Yeah to fix the situation before it starts or even gets worse One solution is to tell the kid to cut down on TV time you know, to go play outside, go hang out with friends, you know, go to the mall with your friends or something. You know, anything to just stop watching TV or or being on the internet for too long or watching, you know, a, a YouTube video about fighting or anything. Um, yeah, and also another outlet um, that also would resolve this is boxing, you know, some, some kind of martial arts. But yeah. But if that doesn't work, another solution is to just forcefully block some some of the TV channels that, you know, express violence and sex and take away, you know, violent video games any kids have. And like you can just it's easy to do it. You just tell your parents, you know, how to use parental control and they can, you know, based on like my experience because I have three little brothers and they started watching some uh, pretty violent stuff, and I told my parents about parental control and how to use it and stuff. And now they're they're getting better. They're not, you know, like before they would always fight with each other all the time and yell at my parents, and then like we would just ignore them, you know, because they're like four and five years old. But now they don't even do that anymore because because of parental control. And as for sex in the media, about forty seven percent of kids are affected by it. And sex can lead to a lot of, a lot of things. Um, mostly, sex at early ages, yeah, sex can lead to, to lead to kids have. Oh, hold on. Sexual content on TV can lead to kids having sex at early ages before marriage, mostly from ranging from 12 to 18 year olds. It also increases teenage pregnancy in the U.S. and that's that's not very good. The long-term effects of violence is that it can lead to, to drugs, you know, stealing, murder, going to jail, and, you know, wasting money just, I don't know, just to get more drugs, I guess, and, you know, etc. In sex, it could, you know, it could lead to abortions, STD, prostitution, and some other unsettling, unsetting things. In general, all these problems could, you know, could have been just easily resolved just by cutting down on TV about 30 minutes to an hour a day. Um, like, as you're a kid, like, you know, before you're even 20 years old, it can just help like that. As a result, the media, um, today's media greatly influences kids these days. You know, just cutting down on any type of media can save future lives. And, like, if kids just if they don't stop then this crisis is going to get worse and worse until there's eventually not going to be an answer for it and um yeah you know we should stop watching so much tv and just spend time with friends because you know it could eventually just ruin our lives and we're not we don't even realize it until it'll be too late so 
yeah. Thank you for listening, and yeah, see you later.